Good morning. It is Vlogmas Day 16. So right now we are about to get ready to have some brunch. Say hi, Maria. Hi. To the Vlogmas. Say hi, Dad. Hello. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys a quick, quick preview really quick. Yeah, yeah. This is what we're having for breakfast. French toast as requested. Egg, fruit, bacon, grits. As you can see, the beautiful coffee. Don't forget the coffee. Beautiful. Definitely. Can't forget the coffee. Mm -hmm. Cheers. So we are headed. I'm headed to go get my eyebrows done. We gotta go pick up a car. So I will show you guys that when we get to it. Um, just have one. Nothing major. It's rainy. It's cold. That's like the worst. This is like bed weather. You know what I'm saying? You stay in the bed, kick your feet up, drink, drink on something that's hot. Um, can we make some hotty toddies? Huh? Yeah, let's make some hotty toddies today. <laughs> um, yeah, so we we're about to go on these missions and get back home as soon as possible ASAP. You gotta film the whole thing. It's a vlog, yes. Oh. Right, I'm supposed to be shopping at Saks. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could find these. This how you doing? Uh, doing pretty good. How are y'all? Okay. Good, thank you. Y'all have milk? Yeah. Mm. you guys so my dad is going to see if he can find me another headband this one is cute but i want a little bit more festive but anyways y'all so wait in the car for my dad or whatever like that um we're supposed to be going to get a rental car later so i can go up to uh, virginia beach tomorrow because that's my serene place but anyways real quick i wanted to uh touch on um just a couple things um, not even a couple things. Let's just talk about the holiday season. Um, this year is definitely winding down, almost over. And one gym I would say or share with anybody that I came into and started practicing this year is really learning how to listen to my body. Being in tune with my body. Um whether I'm tired, exhausted, sick, excited, happy, fueled, pumped, ready. Um, the type of feeling somebody gives me when they walk into a room, you know, how my body changes if I'm nervous, do I like this? You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> um, 
pay attention to being in tune with your body. The more you pay attention to being in tune with your body, the better decisions you will make for yourself and you will begin to put yourself first in a lot of situations, okay? And then you won't be forceful making yourself do something that you don't want to do. And I believe one of the things that I enjoy about being an entrepreneur is being in a space where I can say confidently, no, I'm not going to do this today. Or yes, I really love this. Or, you know, I can just say no and not have any obligation to anybody but myself and my body. And I don't have to explain anything to anybody. Um, I'm doing what is in my best interest because I know who I am. Um, and I know how certain things make me feel and my number one priority is me and I want to continuously make myself happy because if you don't make yourself happy you can't pour into anybody else you can't put out good quality work you know when you people don't understand this energy thing is real because when I'm making my shirts or when I'm making my new design it's all about good energy for me and how it makes me feel you know if it makes me feel good i'm like yes this right here this is the one if it when i put it on i feel good i feel like i look good i can switch it up i can um dress it down i can dress it up it feels good to me you know i want to create things that feel make people feel good make people want to be their best self um remind people of who their best self is that is the goal so this energy stuff is really 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 um important to me and it's like once you get a hold of how to get in tune with your mind your body and your spirit you can feel the flow of the energy it's like a river and it will tell you um now is the time now it's not the time so for instance it'll say i thought i was gonna come to my dad's house and i was gonna be jumping off the ceilings and partially I'm still jumping off the ceilings, but God said to me, rest, you need to rest, you need to rest. Because literally when I was back at home in Tennessee, I was not getting any sleep. You know how they say um, millionaires only sleep for four hours? Baby, I don't even think I was getting four hours, okay? Like resting well, resting well. But since I've been up here at my dad's house, God is like rest, rest, rest. You can still plan your strategy, but I still need you to rest. So um just really like just listening to my body what my body needs from me in order for me to continue being um to continue running this race as nipsey hustle his whole thing was like the marathon you have to pace yourself you can't just sprint that thing out and expect um it to be done and over with and then you sprint and you're gonna tire yourself out and you can't keep up the endurance you can't keep up the endurance so um always pace yourself and that's something i'm definitely learning and it takes time to learn like give yourself time to learn nobody's taught us how to be entrepreneurs um my parents were entrepreneurs you know i've looked and seen you know other people try to model other people and how they do it and how they move it's like a learning of learning process you don't have anybody telling you what to do you know what i'm saying so it is a beautiful thing and it's not for everybody i will say it's not for everybody however it is for the people that it's for you know i'll say go for it be kind to yourself always be patient with yourself you cannot build a business in one day it comes with learning curve it comes with picking things up putting things down when they get too heavy or this works best for my business this didn't work uh best for my business this year i plan to do this differently this year i want to keep this method it's just a whole lot of that stuff you know I don't have any kids but think about it as raising a child like how your child evolves your business evolves as well your child's wants and needs gets different um they develop their own little personality you know it's a lot of changes you know but the core is always still the same which is good so you treat that thing like your baby you know what i'm saying i've had to some big girl bumps you know bumps in the road but everything all things have been good um, I'm always talking about relationships. 
I don't know what woman, I mean, some of us women, you know, we don't mind being, you know, single or whatever like that, but yeah, I guess I ain't got to talk about that today. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get off this vlog and when my dad gets back in the car, I'll see if he found some new, a new headband for me. All right. I really like my eyebrows now that I'm looking at them. All right, guys. See you in the next clip. what is up you guys i wanted to share something that i love about the holiday season it has such a giving spirit to it that i absolutely love it and i feel like that comes with a high energy and when we have that high energy um in right well so as you can see my dad got me some new ears he has some of his own yeah these hers too yeah those are mine too so those are going home with me but <laughs> i just wanted to show you guys that he did end nice, up getting very cute very nice dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Come on, Dad. Right. Come on. I think not. Dad, come <laughs> on. Oh my gosh. You can't do it for the vlogmas. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm about to um take a nap real quick. I ain't gonna lie to you. Lay down. I feel so grateful, so I'll probably probably really about to go finish this uh sermon with Sarah Jakes. And then um, it'll be that. Mari, where you at? Where you at? She got us these. We're going to be taking some pictures of these. Yes, they're going to be so cute. Is that yours or mine? This one's mine. You think you need the smaller one? Because I'm taller than you. Yeah. We need to probably so. need to see it. Let me see. Did you try it on? No. Well, whichever one fits you. And then I can... That one looks bigger to you? This one is, it may be taller because it's a man. But I just know it's baggy. So you want the baggy look? Well, I'm thicker than you anyway. But you're just taller than me. So you don't think you'll be able to stick this one? I probably will because it's, it's wide. All right, well, just get that one and I'll get this one. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so yeah, this is what we're doing. We're gonna take some pictures in these pajamas. Friday is gonna be our photo day. Isn't this so cute, y'all? So cute. I love this. Alright, say bye to the vlog. Bye. Cheers, vlog. I'm just gonna say black don't crack. Cause it don't. Baby, I was gonna throw the rules away, but I'm gonna leave them so you won't. Yeah, I just wanted to leave them. You wanna set the board up? No sauce on the wings. No, no. No, just those. No. I had to, <laughs> we had to go back. Were you nice? I was. I, 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 feel, I was too, I was feeling too blessed. No light hitting you just right. Hmm? No light hitting you just right. Me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you got chill at that time? Right. Mouth open. Stop. You want some pasta? A dirty Santa or uh, just secret Santa? It's a uh, uh, it's secret Santa. I don't know, mm -hmm. but that's gonna be a good gift though. It I hope, I hope oh. Crane or uh, Alex get it. That's how you know you have your favorites at work when you when right. you be hoping that they get your gift. <laughs> yeah. Also, my dad gonna come up here and teach me how to successfully shoot some pools. So when I'm at any pool hall. I can bet some money on it. And I'm gonna take the money home. You know what I'm saying? I just always thought it was just I love like a woman that can just play pool and all like the men games and be like beast of them. You know what I'm saying? So here goes nothing. Okay. Yeah, very quickly. 
this is a very intimate part of the vlog and if you made it this far um i feel like i can be very open with you i'm just very thankful for everything that has been um partaken in my life and um I just continue to give God all the praise and all the glory for all that he's been doing from his mercy to his grace to his power to his joy to his peace <laughs> to his um patience um love forgiveness um I'm just outdone by all of the things that God has done um, during this season for me as I um, just follow him and love on him and be obedient to his word. Um, it has really been life changing, y'all. I am not going to lie. Like this season for me, I'm not going to say year because God works outside of time um, that we understand. Um, so I'll just say that in this season he has been so incredible to me in ways that i could not imagine and um <laughs> more ways that i just want to push my brain and let you let you guys know that um i know i use the word prayer and prayer influences everything and um uh prayer influences everything and stuff like that like Prayer really influences your every everything. Prayer really will change your life. Prayer will really have you thinking in a different way. Prayer will really have you thinking in a way that you've never thought before. Um, so I just appreciate um, God so much and what he's doing in my life. And I just want to share it. I have so much to share and I get excited and I'm just like, oh, Lord, I just want to sit at your feet because you have just been so good to me. And um yeah, so I thank you guys for continuing to watch my vlog. I am going to close this one out because it's been an incredible day. Um, yeah, it's been an incredible day. I love, love, love you all. And I will see you guys very soon. See you later.